Being able to carry out your own analyzers offers many advantages. By setting up your own ELISA laboratory, you can gain autonomy, speed and efficiency by directly linking symptoms observed in the field with the results obtained in ELISA. IDVET, ELISA Experts, offers you support in setting up your analysis laboratory. This video gives you the keys to successfully complete your project. We show you the most suitable working environment to start ELISA analyzers and then show you the essential equipment and the basic materials required. IDVET helps you design your laboratory plans. Here is an example layout of the essential elements required to perform ELISA tests. To start with, determine the appropriate surface area of the room based on the number of people who will be working in it at the same time. The laboratory shown here, with a surface area of 20 meters squared, allows the installation of three workstations. In a 20 meter squared room, here is how to organize your equipment. It is vital to work at a controlled temperature. The ideal temperature for performing ELISA analyzers is 21 degrees. If you are located in an area where the temperature always remains between 16 and 25 degrees, you can work at room temperature without the need for any control system. If the temperature varies outside these values, it needs monitoring. You have two possibilities, install an air conditioning system or plan to use plate incubators. In a 20 meter squared laboratory, you will be able to install three workstations and two desks. The height of the workstation can be adjusted. In general, work carried out on the workstation, meaning sample preparation, manual analysis, note-taking, work on the automat, must have the possibility to be carried out in a seated position. However, given the frequent movements in the laboratory, operators can also work standing or on a raised and adjustable seat. The workstation surface type can vary. It is preferably made of glass to aid in cleaning and avoid contamination. The wash bay must be easily accessible. Make sure it is not located in a corner of the room. It must also be kept away from any electrical equipment. The wash bay has two functions, washing the ELISA plates and cleaning the reusable material. For the washing of ELISA plates, you can choose manual washing with an electronic pipette, the least expensive system, but not suitable for large series of analyzers. Semi-automatic washing using a glass vial and a pipetting station, the best price efficiency compromise. Automatic washing with a plate washer, more expensive and requires prior calibration of the device and weekly maintenance. Next to the plate washing area, you can install the cleaning area for reusable material. We will come back to this later in this video. If you do not wish to equip your laboratory with a wash bay, you can opt for a separate laboratory equipped with a wash bay or use only disposable materials. A water purification system needs to be provided next to the wash bay. There are three possibilities. The simplest and least expensive to implement is mineral water of crystalline type, low in calcium load, or a tank of distilled water, which you can obtain from a local supplier. You can also install a water purification system, which you can obtain from a professional. Install a storage cabinet for consumables, tits for pipettes, disposable reservoirs, pre-plates, and for reusable material, beakers, reusable reservoirs, test tubes. Install a refrigerator and freezer to store your reagents in Serra and guarantee their short and long-term stability. You can opt for a combined refrigerator-freezer depending on the organisation of your space. IDVET accompanies and advises you in the choice of your equipment and can provide some of this equipment at negotiated tariffs. Here is the list of basic material required for your analyzers. Vortex, stopwatch, pipettes and their holder, tips for pipettes, pre-plates, reservoirs, bin. A vortex to homogenize reagents, stopwatches for incubation times, the pipettes and their rack, pipette tips. Careful, the maximum volume of the tips must be greater than or equal to the maximum volume of the pipettes used. The pre-plates, which will be used for the sample pre-dilution steps, washable reservoirs, more economic, or disposable reservoirs, more expensive but safer as they avoid contamination problems. You will use the reservoirs for the different diluents, TMB, stop solution and preparation of the one times conjugate. Used with multi-channel pipettes, reservoirs allow quick and easy distribution of these products. Here's the basic equipment you will need for your wash bay. For plate washing, if you opt for the semi-automatic system, make sure you have a vial of wash solution. It should be raised to allow the wash solution to flow by gravity. It should not be tightly closed. 
For clean and reusable material, you will need a detergent container for washing and decontamination, reservoirs, glassware, a distilled or reverse osmosis water container, which allows the rinsing of the reusable material after the detergent step, a drainer. To read and analyze your results, equip yourself with the following materials. A computer, preferably connected to the internet for optimal use of the ID Soft software, a plate reader, preferably compatible with ID Soft software for intuitive and optimized reading of the results, ID Soft software, easy to use, flexible and intuitive. This program allows a complete analysis of data for all the kits within the ID screen range. The software allows you to generate analysis reports for your customers. You have obtained and installed this equipment. You are now ready to start your own ELISA analyzers. IDVET is at your service to help you with your ELISA laboratory project. We will assist you in the choice of your equipment and can provide you with some equipment at negotiated tariffs. We can also offer you ELISA reagents that are easy to use, flexible and intuitive data processing software, complete technical assistance, theoretical and practical ELISA training courses. Contact us.